All right, descriptive geometry, 2H, A and B, and what we're doing is we're doing piercing points. Um, students ask me quite often, why do we need to know where piercing points are? If we're dealing with something that we're drilling through and we're like having two sections and they've got to cross each other, now you shouldn't be running pipe that do this, but you may have to do this, well, well not a gasoline pipe, but you may have other items where you need to, to go through and pierce. So you know exactly where they where they intersect, so you don't interrupt and run through each other. And so the best way I know to show that is we've got a piece of paper. So here's our edge. So here is your your horizontal or your front view, and then here is that sorry frontal front view, horizontal top view, brain fart. It's been a long day. We need to find the point where they meet and where it comes through, where it pierces through. So I know where it's here and here when we're getting ready to do things. Well, okay, so what the heck does that mean? Why do I care? So if I've poked a hole through something in those views, those three-dimensional views, where do they pop up? Where can I see those on that view on that hole? So that's what your piercing points are. Think of, you're trying to find out where that insertion points, where do they meet, where do they come through? So we're going to go through this. And these examples can not only be found in the video, but if you go through the textbooks, they're in there. They're right out of the textbook just to give you an example to go through the process of doing it. So we're just going to find practice finding piercing points for different things. Your um, the skewed surface for a cylinder, etc. All right, so if I'm going to start off by doing this. I am going to find a straight line. And I'm going to line my straight edge up to it first, and I'm going to tape it down. This is important because I'm going to be bringing these points down here in a second. Okay, so I've taped it down. Before I do anything, I'm going to lightly go ahead and connect these lines. These point arrows are giving you an idea of the direction of which the pierce is going through. So if it's like coming through here, so it shoves in through like right here. So if it's coming down this way, wherever it like meets here, that's where the hole's going in. So I can see part of it, but then I can't see the other part of it. I uh, hope that makes sense. Anyways. That's what the arrows there is to show you the angle of insertion, and the angle of pierce. Okay, so I've literally just gone through, and maybe too lightly drawing this there, so you can see, and lightly connected those points and draw them. All right, so then these are going to become my x and my y points, and I need to bring those x y points down here from that horizontal view to our frontal. Not doing anything, but bringing them down nice and light, bringing them through. So, those X and Y, where do they hit? So where do they hit on that skewed surface? So they hit here, and they hit here. So this is our X, and that's our Y on the skewed surface. Now let's play connect the dots of that. And so we're gonna notice it's gonna hit here and here, so I know my insertion point is going to be here. It's going to be right there because it's where those meet. And I know it's going to be here. So now I come back and I get my thicker lead. And I'm going to draw my visible lines and then I'll draw my hidden lines. So this is the arrow that it's pointing down. So we're shoving, we're drilling a hole in here on that skewed surface. So. From that point to here, there it goes. It's a nice straight dark line. However, on this side, it's hidden lines because we can't see it. And then as it comes out on the other side, the back end here, that becomes a nice dark visible line. So you see the dark lines where it's coming through and then you have your hidden line shown other areas. Now the same thing, look here, the way the area is going. So it's showing you the arrow going here. So we're coming to this point and we're drilling, we're coming through. So we have nice dark visible lines there to there. And then hidden lines in there because you don't see them. 
All right, so we just did his Q surface. All right, now let's do a cylinder. Same thing, same principle, no big deal. So we've got our straight line, we've got it lined up, and we wanna find our point. So let's go ahead and finish lightly drawing in. Smaller, light point five lead. Going ahead and drawing, lining those up. So that's gonna give me my X and my Y. It's gonna show me those different surfaces where they meet. Okay, so where we meet right here on a cylinder becomes our X. So we're gonna bring that X down. So I brought that X down and that's gonna meet here. And then same difference where this is right here, that's our Y, so we're gonna bring that up. Now, again, we're gonna go through, so this is direction error, so we're drilling through here. My X meets right here, so there's my piercing point on this view. Then I'll go up here to that horizontal view, find the Y, where does the white meet here? There's my piercing point here. And this one I'm piercing and going this way, but it, it's going like behind it and coming out. I don't know how else to describe it and try to make it where you can understand it better. So again, we come in, in this part here, pointing, going up. I see that the piercing point's on the front, so that means it's coming out here and here. Um, for those of you that like to do shooting and hunting and like to do the first person shooter games, etc., this is your, think of its trajectory. When you do the bullet and the bullet comes through, how does it come out? Where is it coming out? Which direction? Well, kind of what we're doing. We're pretending like we're shooting this sucker and this is our points that come out. What do we see? So following that trajectory, following that direction that we've shot, where are our lines? What do we see? So that means here to here, hidden, this part from here to here, hidden lines, because we can't see them. All right, now let's repeat the process and let's do the bottom two. Come on, there it goes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now we're going to do a cone and then we're going to do some points that come together. So I'm just going to repeat that process here for the cone. Line it up, get a nice good straight edge, tape it down. All right, now, to do a comb, we're gonna do a couple of things. So we know the direction of our trajectory, the direction of the hole. So again, I'm just gonna lightly line it up. I've just, ooh, that one's off, oh, no. And it's off because my straight edge is actually keeping it from being able to get close enough. There we go. Move my straight edge out of the way. There we go. Okay, so I've gotten those two. Now once I've got that, here in that frontal plane up here, that's gonna become my X and that's gonna become my Y because those are where they meet, it comes through. And we're doing insertion, this is coming through here and going through here. So we've gotta bring the X down, we have gotta bring the Y down. So I brought my X down, I brought my Y down. And now, hang on, sorry. We've got to find our piercing points. So how do we find those? The way you find those is finding, and again, dang it, in the way. So I know here's my X, here's my Y. I'm going to go up to that center point of the cone. So I'm going up to where it meets here. Because what that will do, where those meet, that will give me my insertion points, those piercing points here. And it's coming this way and going through, okay? 
So I'm going to have visible, invisible in there. No, I need to project up, down, etc. for my point up here to there where it hits on that line because these are also my piercing points. And so we have to figure out our trajectory. So we're shooting the bullet, we're shooting the root. Where does it come through? So from there to there, it's visible. The middle is hidden. Same thing here, it's coming down, it's going this way. So it's hitting here, and coming through here, and coming through here. Because remember this is a cone, so this, this frontal view is like the cone showing through. Come on, oh, there it goes, out of my way. isn't so bad, right? Now let's do number four. Where you're, you're given lots of um, piercing points or lines. So we've got like an overlapping object. If you look in the text provided, there are some more three-dimensional objects to kind of like example to show for you to help you to be able to try to kind of understand the theory behind where it comes. All right, so step one is I'm going to lightly obviously finish connecting all these dots here. So I want to move this a little more over center. Okay. I'm not doing anything other than just connecting them in. And of course, it's drawn lightly, so I haven't done anything but connected it. And now we need to find our point. So where this meets here and here becomes our Y and our X. And we want to bring those down to the view. Now, where they also meet here and here, we're going to bring down also. If I had the paper drawn up, I would draw it up. The main thing is it's going to do it. Always, always, for the love of God, lightly draw them. Always, always, always lightly draw. Keep it nice and laid up and lightly draw. So I've brought all of those lines down, just for my point of reference. Trying to zoom in a little closer so you can understand this a little bit better, sorry. So sorry if I just made some of you seasick. I was trying to avoid that, it just didn't work well. Okay, so this is my X and my Y. So I'm gonna bring that down to where it meets the line that crosses here. And that becomes my X. And right here becomes my Y. So that becomes one axis I have here. And then we're just going to call this um, one and two, just for point of reference for what we can find. So we bring one down and find where does it hit on here. And it hits right here. We're going to bring two down and find where two hits. Two hits right about there, two. And I'm very lightly, and I do repeat very lightly, going to connect those sets of dots. That got off on that one, see? That's why we lightly draw it, because it doesn't make a difference at the end. Okay, so. We have those drawn to give us in a certain point. They're, they're showing us for different things. So what we want to do is we want to find, so. That did not do a very good job of showing that line, did it? Sorry, I was just fixing trying to visit it and you can, I knew you couldn't see it. So we have these points here showing here. Alright, so where it hits here 
on that back part of the triangle in this line, that becomes an insertion point. And the same thing for here on the front, where it comes through that line where those two inter intersect, becomes an insertion point. So if it's an insertion point here, it's going to come up and match to an insertion point here. And this is again why we draw everything lightly and we just get ready to So we're going to have to follow. So I have to make sure I'm following that line up to where it hits on here. Insertion point. Hits right here. Now, this one's a little different because we have like um, two triangles that have hit into each other. And so this part is sticking through this part and we're trying to draw and show it. So we've got a piece of paper with another piece of paper sticking through it, or we got the two tri triangles pushing through. So we are in our visual lines are going to be a little different because they're inserting, because we're, we're seeing interlocking going over each other. So we have to figure those out first. So if I'm looking here in my top view, those are now going to become more. The parts that I can see sticking through. So here's the front part of the cone that I can see sticking through. And I'm going to go ahead and darken in Notice I stopped right there. because there's this part, because my hidden line parts now are right here and right there. So those are the parts on the back of it. Okay, now down in the front, horizontal view, connect those two lines right there. connect there and the same thing remember they're connecting together that's why I stopped and didn't draw darkly there with my hidden lines for this one now here and here okay so you just did your first piercing points, and I promise you, it seems a little complicated at first, but as you start drawing, it gets a little simpler. And again, this is if we were drawing something and we needed to show like where the hole was drilling through, we were shooting the hole was my example, because at the point of trajectory makes sense to most students if I use that analogy. This is two pieces that are overlapping. Uh, we have to weld two pieces of metal to go together. So we have cut out a hole for this part to come through and inserts, and then we're gonna weld and put them together, or two whatever eye diagrams. Okay, all right, the next one.